Well, Rick, the numbers police gave us this afternoon were alarming, to say the least. So far this year, LMPD's 9th Mobile Unit has taken 238 guns off the street. And listen to this, Rick Vicky, 41% were in the hands of convicted felons. It's those numbers, those arrests that city officials say highlight the need for this law. Now, it's State Senator Dan Syme that sponsored Senate Bill 210, which cleared the House and Senate earlier this year. The law enhances penalties, specifically jail time, for felony gun possession when the perpetrator is arrested a third, second, or even fourth time. Mayor Greg Fisher said today it will hold criminals accountable and in turn make the city safer. LMPD has acknowledged they can't arrest their way out of the problem, but agree this legislation is a start. We, we grind. We get out here every day and grind. Seven days a week, we don't stop. The individuals in this community that are going to carry weapons, if they're going to be a convicted felon and get a second chance or a third chance and get out here in the community and continue to do what they're doing, we're going to encounter them. They're either going to stop or they're going to go to prison. This law is set to hit the books in just a matter of weeks, July 14th to be exact. An increased jail time, increased penalties could mean anywhere between one and five more years behind bars. But I'm told, Rick, Vicky, it will still be at the discretion of the judge. Reporting live for you tonight from LMPD headquarters, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thanks.